Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome into the CCU pregame show. My name's Ian McClintock, joined today by Gordon Bartolik. Gordon, how are you doing today, bud? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing all right. Doing all right. Getting ready to break down what should be a very interesting matchup between two very even teams as the Regis University Rangers come to town to face your CCU Cougars. And right now, the Cougars, they're sitting right now. They're 6-4, and four, but they're 2-2 two and two in conference play, so they're on the right side of being 500. But Regis, they're right there at 5-5, five and five, so they're 500 across the board because they're also 2-2 two and two in conference play as well. But I know with that, I mean, this is going to be a huge conference standing game. I don't know what else to expect because I know the last time they played, it was a pretty close game, wasn't it? It really was a close game. Uh, CCU won the last matchup 81-79 to and have won three of the last four meetings as well. So uh, CCU, they're on the right track of uh, extending that lead a little bit. And I want to quickly touch on uh, Desaya Jones and uh, Sydney Pretty uh, spent some time at Regis before coming to uh, CCU. So they, know, they might know the team just a little bit. Yeah, no kidding. They might know the team just a little bit. I mean, that might actually be the two-point advantage that they need because with as even as these teams are, Regis, they've got a couple of bona fide studs on their team. And it all starts with Erin Fry, the junior guard. She leads the team in almost every category. Leading the team right now with nearly 14 points per game. She's got five rebounds per game as well as four assists. So, I mean, if you're looking for a true catalyst of the game, it's going to be Erin Fry. She's the leader all the way, top to bottom, left, right, you name it. She's the one to watch. But not only that, right now, She's shooting 47% from the three-point line. So do not give her any open opportunities at all. And then another name I want to mention is uh, Aaron Stroberg, the grad student forward, because she, she can be a problem underneath, especially if Agnes Paul doesn't get it under control. She can definitely be a problem. I mean, she's averaging 10 points per game and as well as eight rebounds but she also likes using her size to her advantage. So she will use her muscle, move people out of the way to get that extra board, give them that extra opportunity. Yeah, now uh, looking at the CCU Cougars, uh, I want to start off with uh, Desia, Desia Jones, excuse me for that. Uh, in her 10 starts, Jones is averaging nine points per game, but recently scored a season high 20, getting multiple opportunities to lead the team on the floor. Uh, next I want to talk about is uh, McKenna Beaudet, uh the guard. And her nine starts for the team, 10 games, she scored 13, three of them, and is averaging nine points per game. Okay. Yeah, no, McKenna, she's doing absolutely fantastic because I know she's shooting dang near 50% herself as well. So, and I think last I saw she had scored in double digits in her last two games, so that's got to be a big trend that Regis got to look out for. But, you know, there's a couple other things to look out for. These keys. So many of them, but the first one obviously has to be to limit Erin Fry. Limit her chances. We all know what she can do. Obviously, again, shooting almost 50% from three, you know she's going to be the reason. She's going to be the one that everybody looks at. We have to make sure that they stop her there. Yeah, another key to the game is uh, make the extra pass to get open. CCU is averaging more, four or more assists per game over Regis, so you definitely want to get those passes going. Yeah, absolutely. Take the extra time and especially make Stroberg work underneath because when she misses, she gets flustered. She does end up tending to foul a little bit more when she does get flustered. So definitely looking for a lot of big play from our forwards, just trying to get under her skin, doing what they need to get that extra rebound, wait an extra second, get her in the air, make that extra pass. But other than that, I think that's all we've got for today's show. So hopefully you guys enjoy the game. Again, for my partner, Gordon, wow, Gordon Bartolik. I promise I know your name, bud. My name's Ian McClintock. Appreciate you guys. Enjoy the game.